We're back in the kitchen with Chef Anthony. He is whipping up some really great appetizers. Of course, it's getting warmer. We don't want to kind of pile in all of the food. So you're giving us some fresh alternatives using really yes. great ingredients, two of which we were just talking about don't get used that much, red endive as well as white asparagus. White asparagus, that's correct. Yeah, keeping in line with the freshness and organics of the spring, um, I have a little salad that we do as an appetizer. We take the, the red endive and we actually use that as the uh, vessel to eat it instead of having like a spoon or something. How fun. It's That's a clever. nice, bright, colorful way to, you know, serve the appetizer. So we start out with white asparagus, which I have marinated in extra virgin olive oil and balsamic and charred on the grill. Mm -hmm. And you notice I'm not working with you on this one because there's a knife involved. So yeah, it would be best you know, if I watch. <laughs> Japanese steel and TV hosts usually there don't you mix. There you go. You got it. You got it. So, and, and all you have to do is marinate those? That's it? You marinate them for about 20 minutes and then you um, go ahead and char them on the grill. And those are, are they seasonal or year round? They're seasonal. I mean, you can get them pretty much all produce is year round these days with right. the different growing regions around the world. But, you know, it, there's a probably about two months in the winter and two months in the dead of summer that's not available. That's not available. Okay. So from there, you take a little bit of pancetta, which is um, an Italian cured bacon, a little bit of fresh garlic, truffle salt, black pepper. Why truffle salt? I just like truffle salt. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's it's a personal preference for me. I like the way the uh, the flavor of the truffles combine with the uh, pancetta and the white asparagus. I love how all of your herbs and all of your spices are coming right off of the stock of something. I mean, you're not using anything no, out of the no. jar. I love that. And the next thing I do to add a little bit of acid to the dish is uh, Meyer Lemon Supreme. Meyer lemons are very seasonal. They're only available for about two months out of the year, but they're great. They look like little mini oranges. Is this them right here? That is them. Okay. See, it's in the shape of a lemon, but it's got the color of an orange. And I wanted to show what we used last in the last uh, for the bruschetta. Look at these tiny little tomatoes. I mean, these are again those fun, the fun produce that we don't see every single month of the year. So it's really nice to try something new. So I'll take a little bit of the Supreme, being careful to keep the seeds out of there. I'll mm -hmm. squeeze some of the juice of the, le of the um, lemon in there, and then I'll just give it a little bit of zest. Oh, that's a cool tool. I yeah. like that. <laughs> that is very cool. And from there, to um, keep it with the truffle theme, I glaze it with a little bit of uh, white truffle oil. Mm -hmm. Now that you do, we don't use a lot of that, do we? No, we don't. It's very, it's very strong. And this cheese right here is uh, French Boucheron, which is a, um, it's kind of more of a milky goat cheese. Okay, so, so we, that's what we put in first? Yeah, that's kind of like the glue to hold everything on. Mm -hmm. And we take the rest of the ingredients. Again, we haven't turned on the stove, we haven't turned on the oven. All of these appetizers are in the raw form. I love that. And, and you, you just, just stick pile it into right the... on top. And we can eat and, the whole thing. And you eat the whole thing, spoon and all. And wow. what I like to do at the uh, the venue to you know keep it going a little bit with the organics is I'll, I like to garnish with microgreens, which are coming out of the organic houses and in season right now. This is a rainbow intensity mix, real bright, real colorful, real small. And tell us about the venue at Scottsdale. We are an upscale event center and banquet hall, specializing in corporate events, weddings, whatever your. Um, Whatever you're in the mood for, we cater to it. We give you the, the perfect event, depending on what you're looking to do. Some people want upscale and elegance. Some sure. people just want to party, and we take care of it all. <laughs> and you're the executive chef there, and I love that because you said, you know, you, you let people come in and really pick their menu. You give them great samples. Yeah, and pretty much about 60% of what I do is custom designed to the clients. I love that. I love yeah. that. This looks amazing, and you can eat the whole thing? You can eat the whole thing. Okay, I'm going for it. All right, just... Okay. <laughs> go for it. Just do right, it. Come go. on. Don't be, there you go. Mm. Atta girl. There are so many flavors yeah, that are bursting. Yeah, that's, you know, mm. the neat thing about, you know, using these organics in the springtime. You know, you got the flavor of the truffle oil, the deep woodsy flavor. Mm -hmm. You got the brightness and acidity of the lemon. You know, you got the zest, the garlic, so many things coming together. That I just, like the cheese, too. Mm, it's creamy. It's great. It is. It's, the cheese is probably the only thing you might have a little trouble getting. Um, around here. I got that imported so from So what France. would be an alternative? 
Um, domestic goat cheese. Domestic goat cheese. Yes. Okay, another great appetizer. Coming up, we're going to do a retro appetizer trio, so you're going to have to stick around for that.